his flexors of his hip are active and his pecs or his internal rotators that pull him in are active. They're the first muscles to develop. The nervous system develops those muscles first so that he can perform fetal position. Okay? So next please. Now how does that relate with us? Well, if it's the first to develop, those old nerve patterns don't go away. They lie dormant, but they're still there. So the flexors are always more powerful. So if we have a tendency to slouch, that nervous system memory kicks back in. And this is all pretty new research. A uh, guy came along, Vladimir Yanda, basically changed my life. When I first read this study, I was like jumping up and down for joy. He suffered from polio. He's from the Czech Republic, and he started looking into muscle balance, and he's an MD. He just dedicated his life to it. He started mapping out these neurological patterns that develop in muscle and why we have chronic epidemic neck and back pain, and he linked it back to fetal position. So modern man and woman, we have tight, you can see the crosses, upper cross, it's more X, but upper cross, lower cross. So you have tight hip flexors and tight pectorals. Now, there's much more cascaded muscles that are then reactive after that, but that's the key I want you to take away. Um, when that happens, then you have pain here and pain here, which is the US task force, government task force, that's all they're trying to figure out right now. All they need to do is read a study on Yonda to realize that most posterior back and neck pain are coming from upper cross, lower cross syndrome, from our seated posture. We're sitting in cars, we're sitting watching TV, we're sitting at work, you know, and then that posture is learned. It's not your fault. People are like, oh, I, want, I want to try to sit up straight. I want to, but the nervous system is learned. You have to retrain the nervous system. So dealing with those patterns, there are ways, stretch, yoga is one of the prime ways, and then through therapy is another way. So what do you find? You find from that inhibited diaphragm, it's not even your fault you can't breathe, the diaphragm is actually not working. You find multiple chiropractic osteopathic joint lesions, so the, the spine has become immobile, which means the nervous system, the whole, you know, the whole circuit board for the whole spine is completely turned off which then can affect even down to the level of organ function. And then you find chronic pain. Now, 